New information tonight on a story you'll only see here on two. Lawmakers say they want to make Ashley's law a top priority. It's our top story tonight on two to six. I'm Mark Cabell and I'm Jamie McGriff. We told you a severely disabled price woman died after her stepdad repeatedly raped her. Ashley V. Hill's mom has been fighting for better protections for vulnerable adults in our state. And KUTV's Amanda Gilbert is live at the Capitol. Amanda, finally, progress in protecting other at-risk adults. Yeah, the first thing I want to say is Paula V. Hill tells me for a long time she felt like she was reaching out to lawmakers, various media, and she felt like Ashley's story wasn't really being heard. But now we are helping her get some answers. When State Representative Angela Romero heard what happened to 31-year-old Ashley V. Hill. I felt really bad for the family in this situation. Brian Rayner, you are under arrest. This man, Brian Kenneth Urban, pled guilty to repeatedly raping his stepdaughter Ashley. She had Rett syndrome. She couldn't walk, talk, or fight back. People who, who um, search out people who are vulnerable, such as she is, uh, they, they just have... Um, they have a special place and it's not here. Now, Ashley has died suddenly and her mom, Paula V. Hill, doesn't know how long her rapist will be behind bars. Since she says vulnerable adults who are victims of crimes like this don't have the same protections as children in our state. When he signed his plea deal, can you promise me anything? Can you promise me a year? Can you promise me five? It... There's no mandatory sentence. Paula reached out to lawmakers for help during the most recent legislative session, sharing her nightmare. When um, I received the email, we were in the start of the session. I wish I could have done more. And so that's why we want to make sure that we address it in this upcoming session. So what are the next steps with the bill? We want to definitely look into this during the interim and have staff look into it and look at the laws and look at what laws exist across the country and then um, file a bill. And someone's done something this brutal and has a history of doing things, they should be held more accountable and, and face more time. So Representative Romero, who you just heard, or Representative Sandra Hollins do plan to have this bill be talked about in the interim session that is coming up in May. They say also in May they want this bill to be filed and they say there's a possibility this could become a priority bill, which means it would be addressed early on in the next legislative session. Reporting live, Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News.